Time now for our phone in and the Speakmans are back to help you find your inner happiness. We're going to get straight onto the line. We're going to talk to Alison first of all. Good morning to you, Alison. Good morning. Now, Alison, you feel unhappy about the way that you look. Yeah. How I... long has this been going on for? Well, I didn't realise how long it was going for, long for, until I realised that I only have eight photographs of me and my grown-up children together. Right. And, and you don't look in the mirror? No. No, no, no. I, that gives, that heightens my anxiety. Okay. Alison, <clears throat> Alison, can I ask, you mentioned you have children. Yeah. Do you have friends? Do I have? Do you have friends? Do you have a friend? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you have a partner? No. Okay, so you've got friends around you and you've got children. Yeah. Okay. And you see, the thing is, what, what, you, what you're talking about there is just so common um, that, you know, how we, uh, we said earlier, you know, how we perceive ourselves is, is very much based on how we think that others think of us. However, what I would say to you, Alison, is that, you know, you've got children, you've got a part, you've got a friend, sorry, who obviously care about you and you've, you've earned their love and therefore, um, what I would ask you to try and consider, and you can ask them to, to join you with this, is first of all ask them what is it they like about you and help you to see your qualities. And then also for you to, to understand the things that you do for them and how you make their world a better place. Because currently, uh, your vision of you, believe me, is, is distorted and it's not true. And I know it's not true because of the fact that you've got people around you that, that love and care for you. What sort of relationship yeah. have you got with your children? Yeah, all right. I think I've passed it on to my oldest daughter. But, um, I, you know, it, it, I just... I, I, I start to get a fear now that if anything was to happen to me, they would forget me because there's no, there's no footage of me. There's no photos of me. Well, they won't. I mean, you know, the, 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 in days gone by when there were no cameras and there was no internet, people weren't forgotten when they died. Yeah, I mean, you, you remember no, someone in, there in your heart, you remember someone in your, in, in, in your I mind. Know. It's just very, it's very, um, it, it's, it's, it's back my whole life. Can I ask Alison, what, what's the main reason why you don't have photographs? What is it that you're really unhappy about? Just can't look at myself. I, years ago, when I was 17, I was d diagnosed at the doctors with something that they called back then social phobia. OK. Um, where I wouldn't go around groups of people because I over-obsessed at what they were thinking about me. Right. So I would go into the back of, of places and... They'd be late for college and things like that, and and I think now being, you know, over forty, it's still, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sitting here crying again, even though, <clears throat> even though it's, it's one of those big things, you yeah. know, photographs and memories. I love, I love photos, but I. I've been on holiday with my children, but you would never know if you look at the photo. Right. Okay. The great news is, do you know, it promise it is never, ever too late to realise just how amazing you are. And I really would love you to, even whoever loves you unconditionally, your children, your friend, I would like you to imagine, just for a second, just close your eyes and imagine they're stood in front of you mm. and do a role reversal and see what they see. Because, like I said to you, nobody gives love and friendship for no reason. And the fact that you've got that tells us that you've earned it. And the fact that you, I mean, your answer lies in what you said about when you were younger, uh, because we know that you weren't born this way, but something's happened in your life that has given you social anxiety. But what you have done is you, you're in your 40s, you're getting on, you've got children, you've got friends, and therefore celebrate that. And like I say, do please look at yourself and see yourself, how, how the people that love you see you. Do you, um, do you have a nice smile? Uh, no, I, I don't, you know, people, I don't like myself, Philip, I don't. I, I, in fact, I hate myself. But when you... I've always hated myself. I'm a game face, so I can say you think that I, I, you know, I'm happy. I'm not. I try to make everybody else happy. I love yeah. to see everyone else happy. But, you're, but only un you're only unhappy because of your weight, aren't you? Yeah, my image, not, I'd say my, well, my weight, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, and so, it have you got like have you got a nice smile? Which is the question that I asked. Did yeah. You? Well, I don't know because I, I wouldn't. I have, you know. nice, yeah. have you got nice? Have you got nice eyes? I can't say yes because I don't like myself. Do I you have know. nice eyes? I don't. 
I don't know. I wouldn't... I don't look at myself. The thing is that, is that photographs don't have to be, initially, until you feel better, they don't have to be full body ones. No, you can, they don't. You can just get your head to your I, kids. I think, this, I think the issue is that when we... You say you don't like looking in the mirror either. When, when, you, when we're looking at ourselves, we're looking for things to criticise and we don't see ourselves as a whole. Mm. And, you know, obviously, you said this started with social anxiety and um, the key to that is the fear of being judged. Um, you know, so what I would like to consider is whose opinion actually matters, you know, and, and the opinion that, that should matter are the people around you and, and your family, you know, and, and I would ask them what they, you know, what is their true opinion of you? Because I'm sure they don't judge yeah. you in a bad way. And the fact that you said that you like to please other people and make them happy, mm -hmm. again, you know, that should be the top it's of, lovely, of your lovely lovely quality, actually. It is. Yeah. Will you, will you do me a favour, Alison? Will you stay yeah. on the line? Will you yeah. stay on the line and, um, yeah. and we'll, we'll pick this up in the other room? Okay, thank okay. you. Thanks, Alan. Okay.